Hey guys! So it has been a little while since you and I sat down and had a chat. I wanted to jump back on here and catch you up on how we're doing. Oh my gosh! So 2020, yeah, that, um, I didn't see this one coming, I gotta say. <laughs> All right, so let's just jump into it. The good, the bad, the ugly. Let's do this. Okay, so, um, for those of you who don't know, we live in the United States again. We left Mexico last summer to move back close to my family and Jesse's sister. Um, we live 20 minutes from my parents. We live about an hour and a half from Jesse's sister, three hours from my sister. And we have been loving that. We were loving that until, you know, 2020 happened. <laughs> um, so let's start with the good. We had a wonderful Thanksgiving. We spent the holiday in Florida with Jesse's family. I will be releasing a video about that because it was just the sweetest time. Um, I also had a lot of thoughts and feelings about Florida and going home and what makes home home and all of that. I'll save it for the video. You have to watch that one to see. But anyway, that was really nice. The Christmas holiday was quite nice. Harper went to preschool. She made some friends. Um, she is doing really well. I will say in the quarantine, she's fine. Um, we are kind of co-quarantining with my parents so she can still hang out with them. She's been getting lots of grandparent time, lots of mom and dad time. And so she's like, this is fine. It's fine by me. I'm cool with it. The only thing that um, is bumming Harper out is that she really wants a new kitten. And she has been working on this hard, guys. It's bad. Uh, uh, you know, we have two cats, as you know, Gracie and Oliver, and one dog, Peta, and we're kind of at our max pet capacity. Um, but I, I fear that our resolve will eventually weaken, so you'll have to watch this space post-COVID. Um, I don't know. For now, we can, like, hold her off and, like, you know, sorry, we can't get a kitten, we can't go to the pet store, we're, remember we're on quarantine. <laughs> but yeah, um, she's still obsessed with dinosaurs, she loves animals, she's been super into drawing lately, I'll just show you guys some of her drawings. Uh, yeah, so we are homeschooling her in the fall um, due to current events, <laughs> and she is fine with that. So. So that's the good. Um, so the not so good. Um, in the middle of January, my half brother committed suicide. And that has been extremely difficult. Um, we were not close, but the and part of part of all this is that you know we will never have the chance to be close now um if you've ever lost someone to suicide you know that it's a, a very complicated grief it's layered with a lot of complicated and messy feelings um yeah it's it's been really rough. So that was the beginning of 2020. Uh, we had the funeral in February. Fortunately, we were able to do that before COVID really got going. Um, I know a lot of people 
who are losing people right now and not being able to have funerals, um, not being able to be with family at that time. And yeah, that that's extremely tough. So we were, we were lucky in that regard. Since COVID, um, we have been on lockdown. My parents are both, I would consider them high risk. So we decided to just go ahead and fully lock down um, and just try to ride this out until there is a vaccine or a treatment. And that's where we're at. I planted a garden that has been something that has been really therapeutic for me. Um, something to get me outside, something to focus on, um, and something that has been giving us beautiful things to eat. So that's been really wonderful. Um, in June, <laughs> I was making lunch one day and chopping onions and I was going kind of quickly because I had just put some garlic in a frying pan and I was worried it was going to burn and instead of, you know, being intelligent and like turning the heat down or moving the pan, I just chopped the onions faster. And in doing so, I chopped off like half of my fingertip. <laughs> so I had to go to urgent care. Um, I had hit some kind of artery or blood vessel or something and they had to cauterize the wound and stitch the wound to get it to stop bleeding. It was kind of Star Wars-y. <laughs> um, but that incident kind of set me into like a spiral um, because after that I couldn't do anything. I couldn't garden. I couldn't write. I couldn't really cook. I couldn't really clean. Like I, I just could, I literally couldn't do anything. My hand was in so much pain and I couldn't use it like normal. And that just, I just spiraled down into a really dark, dark place. And I, I just, I had no motivation, no interest in anything. I just, when Harper would go to sleep, I would literally just sit down on like lounge chair on my porch and just like sit for hours. I would just play stupid games on my phone and just like zone out. Um, I, at that time, like I, I quit basically quit all my social media. I quit Patreon. I stopped talking to most people. I stopped reading my email. I, I just like, I just wanted to disappear. And so I did um, for, for a while. And uh, I was just in a lot of pain, like emotional pain, grieving my brother. Um, grieving the year. Yeah, it was bad. I was in a really low and dark place and at some point things just started to get better. Uh, my finger started getting better so I was slowly able to do more things. I was able to get back in the garden. I was able to cook. It was almost like I just had to go to the really dark place to get through to the other side of the dark place. And so since then, things have been going up and I'm really relieved and thankful for that. Um, but I know that grief is a long-term process and it comes in waves and it's not linear. It's not, you start down here and then you go up, 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 up. That's what I learned when we lost Jesse's dad is that, you know, it's up and then it's down and then it's up and it's down, but it will, it won't get better, but it will become something that 
I learn to live with and that I can move with and I know that that will always be there but that joy comes back that lightness comes back um, and so so that's where I'm at things are looking up I'm really uh, thankful to be on an upswing right now and so yeah I am ready to start re-engaging I am ready to start making videos I have started writing again that's always <laughs> like to me an indicator of how I'm doing is if I'm writing. If I'm not writing, then something's, something's probably off. If I'm writing, then I'm, a, I'm in a good place. So that's where I'm at. I'm writing, I'm cooking, I'm gardening, and I am ready to start releasing some videos again. I learned how to make ankylosaurus bread, <laughs> conchas, um, but we always called them ankylosaurus bread because Harper thought they looked like the, the armored plates of an ankylosaurus dinosaur. Um, so I am going to make those for you. I'm going to make some of our favorite drinks from... Mexico, so I'm gonna make horchata, which was Harper's favorite. You know, she was obsessed. Um, I want to share with you our Thanksgiving, and I've got some old videos to release that I never released on the channel. And yeah, we'll just see where this goes. I wanted to say. A huge thank you to those of you who supported me on Patreon, who were kind and supportive to me on Instagram and on other, um, on other places. Those of you who have stuck by me, I, I love you. I thank you for being here. And my patrons, like you guys were my angels. You were there for me during some really dark days and some really difficult times and I will never forget that oh. I hope that you are hanging in there I hope that you're okay I hope that no matter how dark things get, that you will always remember that it's not forever. And I hope the pandemic is over soon because I'm so freaking over it. I'm so sick of this. But we'll get through it somehow. Somehow we will get through this. And I have some big plans for when we do get through it. And I also realize that you never friggin' know. So you plan lightly. Yeah. So, all right, guys. I've missed you. Not all of you. Some of you were really mean. I didn't miss you. <gasps> but the good ones, you know who you are. I missed you. I'll see you later. <laughs>